Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of the Stadia Hour. This is your boy Rick Tone. Um, this is a special edition because I'm on vacation for the week. You know, just got to take some time out, you know. Family, life, just reflect on the year and all that. Can you believe we're in July? Uh, late July, really. It's the 22nd. Wow, what a time. Man. What a time to be alive in the world right now. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, so last episode I did was about... It was about the Stadia Connect. Um, I talked about some of my predictions. I did my top 10. I also talked about um, the Freelancer Kodak podcast I was doing. So let's reflect on that. Let me touch with this Freelancer Kodak. Um, guys, I got to say, man, thanks again to the Freelancer Codex crew. All those those three guys for um, for really allowing me to be on their show. I mean, I... I I mean, I don't have anything established yet. I mean, I I know there's a there's a silent majority out there that listens to the podcast, but uh, no, it was just really amazing though for them to give me that opportunity. It was great. I watched the episode back. Uh, definitely put it in my favorites. Something I could show my my son when he gets older. I could definitely say, hey, I was I was on a podcast. I was on something, <laughs> something of some. Uh, some important you know so it was it was a really cool time um i didn't get to touch on everything like about stadia but uh it was good that i was there to at least uh be a representative of the platform to answer some questions uh some uh some things that maybe they didn't know or some misconceptions so i feel i felt like i did a good job of um of representing that, of, of representing the Stadia brand and the community, you know, I went on there, not all the questions were easy, some of the questions were, um, hit hard, like, um, some of them were saying about physical content, they were saying, well, what about the Xbox, with the Xbox news, that, um, XCOD will be a part of, um, the Game Pass, I mean, that was big news, and Xbox has the mind share. But my uh, rebuttal to that was saying that um, we don't we don't know how Xbox is, X is going to work. First of all, it's um, based on old architecture, so it's going to be on Xbox One S um, servers, and um, so that's good for like 30 FPS, things like that. It's I mean this isn't this is an earth shattering technology that they're going to be. Um, showcasing i feel like it's just gonna be add-on i think it's just something else bolstering the um game pass but i don't i don't think it's something like that's gonna deter stadia at all i i just don't i just think it's just gonna be another thing but their main thing is to sell consoles this is the last generation i'm calling it right now this is the last generation of physical consoles I think consoles in the future are gonna be are gonna cost a premium upwards of a thousand dollars. I might do a um a pre- I might do a prediction podcast honestly, just so there's receipts. Like this is the last generation of consoles, including Nintendo. Everything will be in the cloud. Um, I'm predicting that. You know, maybe like let's say Nintendo. Uh, releases a new console in the next two years or so. That's what, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking the next big one. Like, let's say ten years from now, 2030, no more physical consoles. Um, we'll only have physical consoles maybe to interface with the cloud. That's I'm predicting that right now. So we can we can look back on this for receipts. But um yeah so so it was a great it was a great it was a great little podcast i have to say it was it was really cool we talked on some other stuff um you know just some other stuff for ubisoft it was just the events of the week so it was kind of cool i i really like it um i wouldn't even mind being on there like weekly it would be it would be kind of cool just like have someone that represents kind of cloud gaming you know, I'm not saying, you know, I would like to, but there's other guys that's, that's more into the know of others. Because I, I don't mess with the other cloud system. There's just too much, too much workarounds, too much stuff. Um, for me, just boom. Even right now, um, 
just the internet here is pretty crappy. It's um, it, it is it is pretty pretty crappy here at the hotel, cause you know where I'm at. It's not really about staying in the hotel. It's about all the other stuff around it. So it's you know, uh, I can't I can't say say it's the best performance, but I've lowered my performance. I put 720p. Um, oh, you know, I should I should probably take off HDR too, but I don't think it's showing. I'm using my MacBook, and it works. It's just a lot of stutter. It's just that there's so much people, and it's an older hotel. It's one of those like kind of quaint hotels. They did some renovation, but the internet. I'm only getting 30 uh, megabytes per second, so it's um you know no, no absolutely no multiplayer no anything involving other people. But um I've been playing catching up on some some bounties with destiny 2 because it's okay you know if a few dregs get you while you're in patrol it's okay but um but other than that um i would i would say it's been really good i can sign in um you know all those other games like spitlings and th things like that those games that are really good for mobile yeah run pretty good they still they run they run pretty good but it's your upper games your red deads i didn't even try that because when I saw Destiny stuttering, I was like, oh, man. But um, but overall, like, at certain times when people aren't here, it works fine. I've gotten I've gotten um, a good amount of stuff. I'm going to play tonight, actually, just by myself, you know. Not, not, nothing nothing more than that. But um, but it's cool. I can't wait to get back. I got a, I met a few guys on the, um, on the uh, what's it called, the Stadia stadia group on facebook it's a great group i met this guy added him he's looking for destiny um he's a destiny player looking for people to play with um this is i mean this is awesome man i, I it, a lot of people play stadia there's a misconception there's a lot of people you might just not you might go in a game like you say you go to borderlands and you try to do multiplayer because the game is not new or there's not a new update or something you might not see people yeah that's true you might not see anyone but it doesn't mean that people aren't playing other games. I think the Stadia community right now, it's it's not so set up where like thousands of people are playing Borderlands and another thousand is playing this. But thousands of people are playing the platform in general. You know, so but if you if you focus in um, on on matchmaking, I mean I hope they have a built in LFG one day. That would just be awesome where you know friends could broadcast like like the xbox has that really good kudos to the xbox team because you know people i would make an lfg post on xbox i'm looking for two for prophecy dungeon boom you know stuff like that two for prophecy dungeon and then you're like whoa okay my friend's doing that and it brings up you know one of your friends that that's actually really cool that, that's something like that is really cool but um other than that the um the podcast was awesome it's great definitely a bucket list thing you know freelancer guys i really respect those guys they do awesome work I, I they definitely get the bell not everybody i've been tweaking who i give the bell to you know this if i see you in the end of in my feed my youtube feed that's one thing but um not everybody's getting the bell but freelancer court they definitely get the bell I just, I just like how they do stuff um all right so let's do the stadia connect recap um they have 15 new games i'm gonna just string them out real quick orcs must die three that, that landed on that day outcasters stadia first game it's it's um built with this um what's it called splash damage they're making that with con conjunction with stadia super bomber man r one hand clapping early it's in early access nba 2k21 is going to come out day and date dead by daylight PUBG season 8 hitman 1 and 2 this year and then hitman 3 in 2021 serious sam 4 outriders that's that's a cool game it's kind of like it almost looks like a mass effect type game that's coming out um PGA tour PGA tour game I don't mess with um I don't mess with um golf too much but and then you have hello neighbor I get I guess that's an acclaimed game one of those indie games that looks cool for people who's interested um, and then Sekiro 
that um that's cool i can't wait for that that was game of the year in um, 2019 i am just psyched i think that's gonna be awesome i can't wait to get into that uh, I hope there's a lot of customization, but either way, I and I I think I played Bloodborne at either somebody's house or something, or um, there was some game on Xbox that was similar with the tank controls. I mean, hopefully there's a there's an easier mode or something to play, but I'm definitely excited for that. I think that and Outriders. I honestly believe Outriders is gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be. I think at worst it's a Division Two launch I, I think it's gonna the end game you know these type of games the end game is not great but honestly I, I'm just like how bad how bad could it be you know at this point it's like how bad could it be uh, I think I think it's gonna be a blast man I honestly think it's gonna be a blast so I would say so jump to that next this next segue the best things from the connect best games announced I gotta say Outriders and Sekiro, like by far. So, a little bit of controversy. I, I think a lot of people, I just saw one of two things. People either thought the Kinect was okay, don't overreact, you know, it's okay. Or some people thought it was awful and they're like ready to jump ship. Right, I, I'm just gonna give my my two cents into these, into these things, right? For me, the games are previously announced, right? I, I, I will try to stay in the Stadia Connect bubble. I want to stay there because that's what I'm talking But because of the, the games announced I, before, I'm okay. Like Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order. For me, that was, that was a previous Connect, right? To me, that's it. Like, I'm waiting on that and I'm good. But I can see other people could be disappointed so overall i would have to give the connect i would have to say i would have to say a 6.5 i yeah i and i i would say that's that's what is i would say that amounts to maybe a c plus and it's i think it's it's okay because the platform is still good it doesn't take away from all the great things that the plan it was just the connect itself and i think the biggest thing it was in conjunction with the summer games event with ign and those are like touted as like the e3 like whoa this is gonna happen this teaser trailer and um i just think it was because that's the thing when i even went on the the podcast with the freelancer coded guys they're like why should i get stadia you know based on the connect and i think i don't think google thought like i don't think they really thought like hey these, this is your time to shine like us that are in the stadium bubble we know other games that come i honestly think they should have said they should have pointed them like hey check the stadia connect from uh from a couple months ago check that out in conjunction with this one so you see what's coming out in september I think something like that would have been cool. I don't know. I guess there's like maybe there's embargoes and there's NDAs. I just wish they could have s talked about stuff coming out in 2021. That's the thing. I hope they can t the, hope they um really change or they notice that hey, it we don't care if something's coming out in five years. Just tease it, you know. Just tease it. So I I think stuff like that kind of um it, you know it kind of gets gets the juices it gets the juices going man well i honestly believe it. i think that would have been that would have been really cool you know to get the juices flowing and everything but um but yeah i gotta give it a a healthy 6.5 it's it's like you know that kid that um he just failed the test because he you know but he usually passes all the time we just slept late and he stayed up late and overslept had a bad day you know but um but it's not nothing to jump ship for uh i've seen um some people in the stadia community they're they're saying like chase chase from stadia talk right he said he's done putting off stadia talk for a while i don't think that was the reason and i suggest anyone go to his uh video to hear the words from him but um what i could gather 
he was disappointed, but I don't think that's a reason he's he's um pausing with content. You know, it's other stuff, and it takes a lot. When you have a family, it takes a lot. I mean, an hour to do something sometimes, it's just like, it's so hard to find. I'm not discouraging anyone from having a family. It's just, you wouldn't, you would be shocked, like, how, how hard it is to get an hour sometimes. But, um, I think some people want hardcore content. And I think Stadia is trying to reach everybody. They're get, so I think they're getting all the games. They want to get a stable of games, like st- a stable of staple games. They want to get that right uh, in their catalog, right? To say they have the Fifas, they have the Maddens, you have your Crew Two, you have Two K, you have the games that come out yearly, you know, or bi yearly. They want to get that, but. At the same time, they, they're trying to get the casuals, too. They want to get those games, like Outcasters, coming out. A game like that is going to be super casual. They said it's going to be tough, too. The, the, um, what are they called? the devs, they said it's going to be tough and everything. It's like a typical game that they do, like Gears of War. I don't know how they're going to do that. It looks childish to me. But it's cool. Those games, look at Fortnite. I would never play Fortnite, but look at that. It's made so much money. Like, So you just, I'm not going to doubt these devs. and. I just think people want hardcore. They want halos and I want that stuff too. I definitely want that stuff too. But I think I don't I don't I I would have teased something. If it was me, I just tease a poster. If it's a guy there holding like a futuristic gun and you're like more news in 2021. It just I think the thing is state and google those guys they have to know that people uh, i would say people they're apprehensive to cloud gaming as a whole so the more you can do like say 2021 2020 2025 just put out stuff even if it takes a while stuff like that that endears your player base and that gives faith to um to, pe- to the onlookers they'll say oh whoa there's a game 2022 they're like okay i thought google um shut everything down stuff like that it is stuff like that is just um it's huge in mind share and i think that's that's something that they can work on but um i think for the most part they're just doing that just just doing the connect to kind of be a part of the summer games event but um you know in hindsight they 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 could have probably just had their own event and i think the same amount of people or the people that are in the know and that kind of spread the word for them anyway because now it's like um you, you know you just it's just gives ammunition for naysayers to be because people are going to think like these are the only games on say there's going to be that idiot out there that just thinks Oh, these are the only like games. These 15 games that I was—that's it on state. Like, they're not gonna know it's like a bunch of AAA. I, and some people even say, "Oh, where's the AAA games?" And it's like half the games on on uh, Stadia are AAA. But um, that's that's neither here or near there. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's just uh, the nature of, of the beast, man. This gaming industry is a beast. It, it you can use the beast to destroy your enemies or it can destroy you so that's that's just how it is but um overall i, I gotta say it was cool it, it was a uh, it's a cool little event definitely thought it could be more but um but no nothing to to nothing to die over like I'm not, I'm not leaving the Sadie community. I'm playing more and more. I wish, wish I had good internet here, man. I, I, I would be playing right now. But um, but I would say it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool. Um, definitely been pretty cool. Um, I, and with this, I'll end off with some news. So I get back to my vacation. Never know how winter's gonna be. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, guys. Um, so the next, so some news. Ah, uh, Uno is coming to uh, Stadia. It's a leak from a, a Ubisoft earnings call. I love Uno. Like I'll, I'll get that. I'll definitely get that. 
I, I, I would definitely get that, man. No doubt about it. Um, there's some Twitch Prime loot. If any got, if anyone's interested from Destiny, from Destiny 2, just link your Twitch, your Twitch Prime account. I got Amazon Prime. I don't use Twitch though. I've, I've given up on that platform. Um, I don't like some of the terms of service, so I don't use the service. But I, because I use Amazon Prime like religiously, I'll just pick up my loot. It's some. Um, you got two tractor cannon ornaments. You got a an exotic speeder and a, it looks like an exotic ship. I don't know if I have the ship, so I'm I'm gonna pick it up. If I can pick that up. Um, the ROG Phone Three partners with Stadia to offer three months of pro. That's cool. ROG, they're um their phones from Asus. They're like gaming heavy heavily related phones. That's gonna be cool. It's gonna have great frame rate. Um, that's definitely a good thing, man. That's that's definitely a good thing. And now uh, speaking of that, I saw some um, I saw some what's it called? Samsung is actually when you go on their website about Chromebooks, they're actually referring you to um, Stadia Pro. So that's great with a lot of kids at home right now. It'll be great to position these um, these kids into into some gaming. Or when parents pick up the Chromebooks, they're like, "Well, Pro, Stadia Pro." I mean, that's cool. If they, if you know what I'm saying, especially a lot of people are hurting, man. So not everybody has these four or five hundred dollar consoles. And if your console maybe broke or something happened to it, or maybe you share a console, this is there's no better time, man. Because you're probably gonna get a Chromebook from your school for free. I mean, and I've played, I've played Stadia on a Chromebook. It works beautifully. You can check out a video with um with Ace from Cloud Gaming Extreme, I think. He um he found the cheapest Chromebook. I think it was $199. And he was playing Stadia, no problem, no problem whatsoever. Yep. Uh, and then another news: FIFA 21 official reveal trailer is coming soon. So that's gonna be cool. That's really. I think that should be coming out tomorrow, the 23rd. That's gonna be cool. Um. Uh, there's a ton of sales going on, guys. Just just check out this the sales, Stadia sales. Um, nothing on there. I think I already have most of the stuff. But um, definitely told my brother to get into the crew too. So that, that's one of the great games, man, guys. Um, Rock of Ages 3 launch trailer. I'll, I'll man, if this is pro, I'll I'll load it up. <laughs> I'll definitely load it up. But uh, I don't know much about it. It's just I see these rocks rolling down this, a hill. I, I I don't know. It's, it seems quirky. Man, I'm telling you, man. This, Game developers, they're unique, man. I'm telling you, I, I, Stadia has brought me into the world of indies. I, I wouldn't even look twice at these games. But this is where the innovation comes from. Innovation, man. I, it's crazy. Destroy all humans. The Lost Mission. What's this? Remake. Okay, so I guess it'll be a special, like, episode and, uh, thing. Oh, and, uh, some game Cake Bash was rated for Stadia. Definitely some indie stuff. Little kitty. Um, but it's cool. But yeah, not not too much crazy stuff. But um, it's that. Listen, a lot of these devs are on vacation, guys. I just that's another thing people people probably don't know. That's why I try to enlighten people when they come to these like this podcast. Like you gotta understand, like human beings are making these games. They're on vacation. At least the heads of aren't vacation. Right now, it's probably just people that are working and doing the low-level stuff. Maybe prepping. Prepping some of the levels. Doing some t- play testing. But the big decisions like um, level design, story design. Those people are, are, are not not back yet. It's probably not even J- July. is probably just a lost cause in terms of any game development right now. Probably August, you're gonna see them ramping it up. That's why Destiny 2 is delayed. I just think, guys, you know, it's just not playtesting, guys. Some guys are on vacation and all that, but they got their preset. That's why I don't pre order anything. I'm almost, I used to think, oh, pre, or, um, Stadia should uh, do pre orders, but honestly, man, just take your time and see if it's good. 
it's just you pre-order something then it's pushed back it's just it's just something else but man that's gonna end it um for my stadia connect reactions guys um it's not the end of the world that's basically that's basically what i gotta say you know i do i stated everything how i felt how it could impact stadia i was looked at but you know what guys if if you can't if you can't afford free you got other problems this platform is free um it's awesome it can be bundled with your life it doesn't have to replace any other any other things in your life and i think I and mean, i think that's something i want to really write home it you could buy all the new consoles and have stadia and have maybe a game that just either you like to play it a lot on mobile or you know i think it's they're in a great position where it's it's a friendly it's a friendly competitive uh market for google it's they're not trying to take over anything for me i use it mainly and I, that's why i made this podcast so i can show people yes you can you can definitely play it as your main console especially if a game on Sadia is like really well supported you're good you're good to go you eso i, I would never play eso on a pc or a console it's just nice Sadia is just right there you just pick like imagine like i got my phone i mean it's a pixel 4 xl a couple years old nothing crazy it's still good camera is fantastic but i mean i shouldn't be playing eso on my phone it just shouldn't be capable and then there it is so all right guys take it easy be safe peace